working on <clears throat> fixing my alerts. And my alerts were messed up last stream. And it's been a minute. So I'm taking a couple minutes to just double check and make sure that my alerts are fixed because it looks like last time we were having issues with like triple alerts going off, which is never ideal. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay. Hi. Hello. I guess I can get into the the chatting scene. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna put eye drops in really fast. If you haven't been on the Discord lately, um, you might not know. Let me make sure my mic's on. It is on. Okay. You might not know. I've been struggling with some eye problems. Um, I've been to the eye doctor a lot over the past month, and um. They think they figured out what the problem is, but um, to fix it, I need a procedure that I currently cannot afford. So I'm doing eye drops <laughs> to manage until then. So, okay, now we can get into the chatting scene. If I look like I'm crying, I'm not crying. Yeah, I do look like I'm crying. <laughs> I just put eye drops in. So, um, today we're playing a game called Little, Little Gator Game. I don't think I have a lot of updates. I did want to show you something I've been working on. I know my lighting is not great right now. I look super red for whatever reason. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna be on screen a lot today. So it shouldn't necessarily be an issue. Let me just... See if I can make that redness a little bit less red. I don't know that that's actually helping. But I tried. <laughs> so, okay. This is my cross stitch. This is my Stardew Valley cross stitch that I have been working on and posting about in the Discord. If you don't know how big it is, it's about the size of my head. It's going to look amazing when it's done. I'm very proud of it. Um, but right now, I'm just working on the sky. You can see in Stardew Valley, you have a little house. So that outline right here is going to be a house. And then I've got some trees next to the house. It's going to be amazing. Um, you can get the pattern off of Etsy for like $5. Um, but I will say the amount of thread that it requires is extensive. How do I get this back in the middle of my head? I don't know that I do. I think this is just going to slowly fall off the side of my head. That's okay. Um, so the pattern itself is cheap. The um, actual making of it can be expensive if you buy all of the thread at once like I did, um, but you could do it in smaller pieces. So I've seen this project take some people a month to complete, others a few months. It really depends on how much time you put into it, but it is a very big project. So I'm excited about that. Um, gonna go ahead and switch into my gaming scene here and we're gonna hang out in the void for a second while I open up my game here. So, um, I'm a little burnt out on my regular stream games. So today we're going to play a game that I haven't played in a while. I've never played it on stream. It's called Little Gator Game. And it just makes me super happy. <laughs> it's adorable. It is sort of like Zelda. The creators of the game were definitely like Zelda fans when they made it, is what I will say. Um... Okay, I am going to hide my face for this because I think the animation of this game is adorable. So, we're just going to hide that. And we're going to hide my... Wait, maybe instead of doing that... Is this better? Mmm, I can go ahead and move the grilled cheese, I think. So the premise of this game is just that you're a little gator. You're just a little alligator. And, um, where's my grilled cheese that I can move? It's here. Okay. Can I move it? Why will it not let me move it? I might have to switch scenes really quick. Um, go back to this one now. And can I move it? No, why can't I move it? Hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna enter the void for a second. Okay, we're back, I think. <laughs> and now I can move my grilled cheese. There we go. That should be a good spot. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna keep that like here-ish. That should work. Right? Um, maybe there. Yeah. So we'll keep that down in the corner for now. Okay. That's enough laying around. I wanna do something fun. Big sis will play with me. I wonder where she went. So this is me. Hello. Oh my gosh. I run like an elite athlete. This is insane. Okay, what can I do? Wee! Oh, it's like a little seahorse. Okay, so B is the jump button. <laughs> Can I run up the seesaw? Oh no, the ground is lava! Ah! <laughs> That's so cute. Oh! He's built different. Being able to balance backwards? Are you kidding me? Oh. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Incredible balance. There we go. Can I climb up these walls? I don't remember the button for climb, so I guess not. But can I climb on top of it? Oh, I gotta jump to do that. I'm the ruler of the world! <laughs> Incredible. Okay, I'm gonna let him make awkward eye contact with you for a second while I check to make sure. I forgot to check and see if my Discord announcement worked. It should. It did. Okay. Okay, just in case it didn't work. Ooh, big stretch. All right. <laughs> Ooh, amazing. I think we're supposed to get our sister to play with us. I would also like to say I'm a fashionista. Look at these overalls. Big sis, big sis. I'm bored. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. Oh, which Legend of Hero game, sis? Is it perhaps Legend of Smelda? No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can it be out already? I understand this feeling. I want to be the legendary hero. You and me both. Uh, but we don't need single player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and a shield. And a hat! Of course, a silly pointy hat. And you have to be clad in green? I'm green. <laughs> Great, you're already halfway there. As a matter of fact, hold still right there for a minute. I look so cool. <laughs> I might have to turn my face cam off for the on for this. I thought I could do it without it, but the reactions, I don't know. It's adorable. It's like you jumped right out of a magazine. Now, as is tradition, you must choose a heroic name. What about Heroey, Hirosin, Hero Meister, the third. 
Okay. But this is what all the NPCs are gonna call you for the whole game. Your name can be as silly or serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. Every hero needs a name. Sorry, the legendary hero needs a name. So what's their name? I mean, obviously our name is Cheese. But, like... For some reason, the name Pepperoni is calling to me. We'll go with Cheese, though. Is this the name you want? Careful, names can stick. That is the name I want. I am Cheese, hero of legend! Pleasure to meet you, Cheese. Now you need some kind of quest, but what? We need to get you up to speed. Set the stakes with some something dramatic. A hundred billion years of darkness! In case you guys are wondering what my job is like, it's like this. <laughs> A little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started 100 billion years ago? 100 billion years ago. A brave hero sat out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. <laughs> they also made a pact to last all of playtime, no work allowed. But one day, after many a playtime, big sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. Oh, so sad. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day when Big Sis came home for fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. Feels just like yesterday, huh? Haha, <laughs> yep. Those hundred billion years really flew right by. Kind of makes you want to jump up and do it all again right now, doesn't it? I think she's doing her homework right now. Well, I really have to finish this group assignment. She is doing her homework. Aw, come on! You've been working on that all day. I barely got you to come out here with me. Yeah, sorry, kiddo. It's a tough project. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. Group projects are never like that, right? That never happens. But, uh, don't worry. I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, you're my amazing big sis. One little assignment is nothing. You'll finish this thing before we even know it. I believe in you. 100%. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> and now she'll never finish it in a million years. Oh no. Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek. But thanks for trying, guys. Aw, sorry, Cheese. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. Look, Avery! With an exclamation point. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play the game for her. Avery, that's it. I'll play the game for her. They said it couldn't be done! Care to elaborate? Martin's too cool for school over there, huh? Right now, all this stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty pots beside empty waterfalls that don't even have any cool secret caves behind them. There's no story! No drama! We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero. An epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. Are you sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? I've been doing college level work recently trying to get into that prep school. It's really hard. Oh, Jill. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years and I can't wait that long. She'll have like 10 million years to finish it later. I'm entirely sure that math tracks. <laughs> it tracks! With his arms raised. Just a thought, but have you tried having a grown-up conversation with her about all this? You know, before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that. No grown-up stuff during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. Just enough to get her hooked again. Please? You already had me at drama. Hehe. 
I guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help, I trust you. Yes! Alright! Let's get to work! Each of you will make a quest for me to complete and reward me with one of the hero items. Avery! Your quest is for the hero's hat. Hat! Quest! Got it! Bye! Okay. Martin, you'll handle the shield. Gotcha. And Jill. The sword! Leave it to me! Exactly. And I'll play through the game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. I'll do the quests, become the hero, and win over Big Sis. Sounds like a plan that might work. That might almost work, possibly. You're right! It will definitely work! <laughs> oh, jeez. That's not what I said. Don't worry, Scales. We'll ace this assignment for sure. Hey, sis! I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal run-of-the-mill day on the island. Nothing special or exciting happening to my knowledge. <laughs> uh, okay, kiddo. Have fun, then. Oh, I will. <laughs> Look at him, looking so devious. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happened to his overalls? He must have grown up or something. You having fun, kiddo? Yeah, so much fun, it's almost contagious. <laughs> right. Okay. Well... There's a pot over here. Okay, the Y button does nothing. None of the buttons do anything. So I guess I come back later? Gosh, I'm unstoppable. Oh no, look at these monsters. Oh no, dangerous beasts! You, hero, please, you must help. These vile creatures have attacked me, a defenseless NPC. Do you have a weapon, hero? A weapon? Oh, no, I am lacking my sword. Do you know where I can get one? Ah, skilled traveler, I have heard many a tale of a mythical sword. Stories claim it to be deep in the forest, hidden away in a magical grove. Only heroes of true heart are able to draw the sword from its impenetrable base. That sounds... difficult. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I'm sure you can manage it. You're the hero, after all. Please, you must retrieve the sword and save me. Oh no, dangerous beasts! Okay, my camera's in the way again. There we go. So I think I need to get a sword. Look at these guys. Do we think these are, um... What do you call them? The guys that give you jellies? Choo-choos? Are these choo-choos? If that's a choo-choo, what's this? One of those dark nightmare beasts? Deku Baba. The Deku tree looks different from the last time I saw him. <laughs> Please don't jump up the rock ledges. I will do it immediately. <gasps> Something sparkling on the ground. Thinget stick. Wow, the magic special sword. It's it's a stick. <laughs> uh, I guess it was pretty short notice. <laughs> Quick, I have to defeat these enemies and help Jill. There we go. A is sword. Oh, please help. I'm surrounded still. Oh, oh boy, junk. I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle it into something new. We love to recycle. Back beast. I am unstoppable. Jill, I'll get to you in a second. These look like the Wind Waker pots. Okay, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I need to get back to Jill. Don't worry, Jill! I'll save you! Oh, 
Or should I sit across from her? I can't speak to her this way? Okay. <laughs> wow, super cool moves, hero. You have completed my quest. I mean, yeah, thanks, but you're back to doing schoolwork. I thought you were playing. I am, I promise. Just trying to squeeze a practice quiz in on this side. I'm a little stretched thin right now, studying for that prep school. I don't want to waste any time. But the second you need me, I'll switch gears again. Okay, well, see you later then, I guess. Sis, sis, check it out! <laughs> yes, send her a selfie. I found a special sword in the forest, and I rescued Jill from scary monsters. Very cool. Don't break anything. Ha! Huh? <laughs> she loved it! <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, I should check in on Martin. I think he's in the sandy area. Okay, so I got Jill. Okay, let's go back to where I was slaughtering the enemies. Actually, you next. That guy didn't die in one hit. I don't know what to do. Okay. Do we make this jump? Do Yes, we do. Okay. Can I climb? Nope, but I can whack a wall with my stick. Um, I think I swim like a shark and that's amazing. Wait, are those the Wind Waker pots? Hard to say. Look at me swim like a gator. Hang on, I'm gonna do it for a little bit longer so you can see. <laughs> I'm a predator. <laughs> I still have a quest to complete. It's true, I do. Murdering all of the monsters. I think I just killed a bush. Like a real live one, but that's okay. Right? It's a renewable resource. I am speed. Got him. can't climb? Well, that seems sad. Okay. There's a chest up there that I can't get. Imagine this man being the last thing you ever see. Him with a stick. I'd be terrified. Oh, come on. Okay, apparently I can't jump high enough to do that yet. Okay, the buoys are like my boundary, I think. Behold, <laughs> there is nothing here. Okay. Looks like, oh, here's a way in. Can I? Ooh. Okay. No climbing yet. Seriously? Let me up! Oh, we're so close. Oh. I love that I leave little alligator footprints where I go. It's pretty great. Okay, I don't think I can make it up there. Surely I can make it up here? I don't know, guys. I don't think I can make it up there. Come on! It's a really easy way to tell if you're in the right area of the game is if you can do anything there. Here we go. Can't go up there, but can run up here. Wow, look at these monsters. They're on fire! 
Don't worry, my stick, my non-flammable stick will take care of them. Sorry, I mean the Sword of Legend. Talk to horse boy. There he is. Oh, hey, cheese! I've got the shield ready. Let me go grab it. What? No, you can't just give me things. It has to be a reward for a quest. Doing quests is the only way to become the hero and for my sis to play with me. Right, talking to her is out of the question. <laughs> Completely out of the question. We went over this. Playtime. No grown-up stuff. Quest. Drama. Fun. But maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her. Too bad it's going to work perfectly and we won't need to. <laughs> this kid. Fine. You want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quests are the best quests. Oh, I mean, uh, I sure do love me a fetch quest. So go over there and grab that thing. <laughs> I need it. For reasons. Uh, well, yes. Okay, quest time. Fetch the pot. Is it over here? Yes, it is. Got it. It's a pot. <laughs> I like that it says pot? Question mark. Weird. I wonder what Martin's plan for this is. Here you go, Martin. I got the pot. Reward time. Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic. So here's your reward, hero. I got the pot lid. This is... Martin, this is just the thing that I gave you. No, it's not. It's your shield. Really? Yes. Wow, a shield. Amazing. In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. I can't wait to find a hill to slide down on this pot lid, er, I mean shield. Well done, hero. You have completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. Now go tell your sister you want her to play with you. Not gonna happen, bye! <laughs> this, I found this weird round thing. Weird, right? But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. Now it's a picture of me sliding on the... Shield. He transmuted it into a shield. Incredible. Phew, okay. All that's left is Avery. They've gone and climbed the mountain, haven't they? Well, Avery uses they them pronouns. Excellent. Oh! Okay. How do I stop this thing? Okay, we're gonna try again. I think we're supposed to hit this button. I think I'm supposed to hit all those trees. I'm not entirely sure. It is a very fast sled, though. Previous vest was three seconds. Oh, I missed the last one! Can we? Okay, there we go. I missed one of the trees again. I don't think you can get all of them, actually. <laughs> I think it might be impossible. It's definitely not that I'm a bad gamer, because we first try everything around here, so... Oh, what? Hey, I didn't say go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I still have a quest to complete. You do. You 
got this, Cheese. Uh, you sure? I'm pretty high up. Don't worry, the legendary hero can climb any height. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. Hmm. I'm becoming a professional collector very quickly in this game. to find out where Avery is. Hello? Hmm, where could it be? I can't find it anywhere. You looking for something? Yeah, there's a stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Uh... <laughs> I left it right here in the center of this conspicuous opening. Uh. <laughs> tell the truth or stick, stick who? I think I'm gonna tell the truth. Oh, was that your stick? Haha, <laughs> oops, I thought that was for me. My friend told me there was a, a sword hidden in the forest, and when I found that stick, it seemed perfect. A secret sword? Oh, that reminds me. While I was looking for my stick, look what I found. <laughs> awesome, we got a wooden sword. A wooden sword! This must be what Jill wanted me to find. Thanks a lot! Do you want your stick back? Don't worry about it! You can hold on to it as long as you're enjoying it! Wow, that's very kind. See you around! Just the fins. All natural gator. Hats aren't always comfortable when you have fins. True. Okay. Like a real sword minus the sharpness and plus a few splinters. The wooden sword. It's just a pot lid, but it makes a good sled. And we don't have a star thing yet. Okay. Surely Avery is somewhere around here. Avery? Look at me go across the little rope. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big jump. Okay. Okay, I'm going in a circle. Maybe Avery's up here. Oh, I jumped pretty high on that tree. But I immediately slid down. How do I... Hmm... I'm trying to like jump on the tree and then jump off of it to get up there. There must be another way around. It's to the right over there. Okay. Oh, I gotta break that pot though. Oh, I don't think I could jump up there and that was my problem. Could I? No, I just missed it earlier. There we go. Hello? You're not Avery. Hello! Hey, have you seen- It is I, the bracelet shop! Look upon my array of beauties! Do you not desire them? Covet them? Hmm? Tell me, what is it you truly want? Um, I'm looking for my friend Avery. They're a frog. Yes, the energetic one. They have ascended to greater heights. But do not fear, for you can follow in their th footsteps, with the help of my bracelets. You're saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs? 
They are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength. The strength to keep going, to tell the world who you are, to ascend over your every obstacle, to hold tight to the truth in your heart. Okay, okay, I'll take one, fine. Woohoo, as I thought. You desire my bracelets more than anything else in this world. Mayhaps I could be persuaded to part with my beauties for a price. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken crafting stuff? But it's just a bunch of junk. Ah, but they hold value to you, do they not? Then they also hold value to me. Because I can take that value away from you. Hoo -hoo. Wow, this guy's dark. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 100. <laughs> no thanks, so yes. I'm gonna get one because I wanna climb stuff. Woohoo, wonderful. Here, take my beauty and make it yours. I got a bracelet. It gives me the strength to climb walls. With only one, my stamina is pretty low. With more, I could climb higher or longer. But do not be mistaken, one is never enough. Look upon my array of beauties. Imagine the strength they lend me. If you still yearn for my beauty, seek me out. You will find me where you least expect. Goodbye. Okay. Be toward wall to climb. Hmm. So like this wall. Please don't climb the cliff face. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we made it up. Hello, fellow mountain climber. We're very close. I would like to take some personal space, actually. These bracelets sure work great, don't they? Uh, I guess so? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just bracelets, right? Might be a placebo. <laughs> Not a chance. I myself am, of course, a proficient mountain climber. But when that frightful character told me that they could help, you bet I bought one. Heck, I bought four of them. Now look at me. I can climb anything. Go anywhere. You, fellow mountain climber, we will have a climb off. I will traverse this mountain and hide amongst its peaks. If you think your bigger one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities, prove it and find me amongst the mountains. Okay. Oh, here's Avery. Oh, hey, Cheese. Uh, wow, um, what is all this? It's something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis all at once. A restaurant! Those create lots of conflict, and grown-ups love conflict! <laughs> A restaurant? Conflict? See, there will be an opposing restaurant that badmouths them to the press. And then in Act 2, all the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. <laughs> The drama! With all that spoiled food, how will they impress the food critic? Not to mention all the interpersonal tension between the chefs. Uh, uh, I don't know. All this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Oh, stressful. Yeah, uh, it kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh no, not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. Whoop! There it goes! <laughs> so, the hat, right? Did you at least make the hat? Right, the hat. Um, to be honest, I forgot everything you were talking about the moment I left. <laughs> oh, Avery. But you seem to have a pretty good clear idea of what you want. Why don't you make the hat yourself? But, but it needs to be a quest. Can do. Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go, simple. Oh, I have to spin confetti, but I can make it. It's pointy. It flops around. What more could you want? Dun 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 dun. Hey, that wasn't so hard. I made a hat all on my own. Look at my little victory stance. Quest complete. Oh, I mean, almost complete. I have to show Avery first. Oh, did not mean to swing my sword at you, Avery. So sorry. Wow, what an excellent heroic looking hat. Ugh, thanks. Does this satisfy your quest then? Oh yes, absolutely. And even better news, I remembered something about the game. 
It has a glider! It makes exploration so easy! A glider? The ones I play didn't have that. <laughs> Such a good Zelda joke. <laughs> oh, well I must be thinking of a different game in the series. <laughs> Anyway, hero, for fulfilling your heroic questing duty, I must reward you. What? Reward? But I already have the hat. Hero, I must depart. Please take your reward as I leave you. Goodbye. Is this a shirt? Avery, wait! Whose shirt is this? I guess this must be the glider they were talking about. I mean, uh, wow, a glider. Simply jump again in the air to glide. Sis, 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 I ventured to the top of the mountain. I had to climb all over, and at the top, a special hero hat. Looking sharp. I really want to see what he says when I have to, like, underneath my grilled cheese, because it doesn't go up the whole time. Hang on. Let me lock this down. Yeah! There we go. That's everyone. Phew. Okay, okay, okay. All that's left is to go recruit my sis. I'm ready for this, right? Glide midair. Didn't that one guy challenge me to like find find him in the mountains? Do we see him? What are the chances I can make it up there? Oh there he is! Why is talk, not A. Ah, oh, fellow mountain climber, you have found me. What took you so long? I bet you think you're quite the hotshot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. <coughs> <coughs> Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You have learned the art of ascent, yes. However, you are quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate... Okay. So, have you learned from my example? I, uh, I guess? Ha! It requires much practice to achieve this level of mastery. Go, and perhaps one day you will measure up to my abilities. Channel the power of the ragdoll. We're making it. Wait, I don't have the money for it. So I have to get more breakable stuff. Oh, come on! Oh, we did it. Why am I always standing inside of things? The hero beats the mountain! I did it! We should do this every year. No, every month. Every day. There we go. Now we're talking. Now I should be able to get the stuff I couldn't reach before. <laughs> Look at this glider! Oh my gosh, this is a really good game. I would like to please land here. Oh gosh, I almost... Almost went over the edge, but that's okay. Wasn't even close. Didn't panic at all. There's something up here? No, there's not. Okay. There is something over there. Okay, I have over 600 now. So we can channel the power of the rag doll. planning on that happening, but cool.
Where are those rude slime things at? Oh, I think there's a stone talus up there. Oops. You. Surely this is a stone talus, right? Okay, rude slimes. I still haven't found them. There they are. I would like to climb up, please. There we go. They never see it coming. First try! I could use some help! I could maybe use some help here. I'm kinda stuck! Don't worry, I'll free you. Phew! Freedom! Yeah, what the heck happened? Well, I was just standing here minding my own business, meditating, eyes closed, completely motionless, blending in with nature, when suddenly these pieces of cardboard appeared around me. Oops, that's my fault. Me and my friends placed these all over the island. Guess we got carried away. Haha, <laughs> sorry! There's no need to be sorry. Would have broken out myself, but after staring at the designs of those creatures long enough, I fell in love. The simple, elegant shape, the exquisite color, the lifeless eyes staring into the void. I couldn't bring myself to harm such an image. I only wish there was a way to bring that image to life. Ah, if only. Anyway, I must take my leave. Oh, okay, well, if we run into each other again, maybe you could help with the game? Hmm, mayhaps. Only time will tell. <laughs> okay. Hmm, slimes have quite a look to them, huh? I could make a slime cap? The perfect perfect disguise for slime conventions. <laughs> yes, all of the slime conventions I will be attending very soon. Another little stone talus here. Didn't stand a chance. I am a lethal weapon. Look at the way I run. Legs of a predator. <laughs> okay, I think I've gotten all the pots and stuff around here. And I can go back to my sister. Question is... Oh, wait. I see enemies. From the skies. Oh! <laughs> First try. Oh, there's another bad guy up there? Okay, but I got all the ones up here, right? Right. Okay. Nope. Did not mean to jump. What's down there? Okay. Anybody know where my sister is? Okay, I can get to this chest now. Nope, there's my sister, too. So, what do you think? Just a sec, let me finish this thought. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, done. What's up? Whoa, you're done? Oh, no, 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 I'm nowhere close to finished. But I've got a minute. What do you need? Well, look at me. I'm a little green hero. And all those quests I've been doing. It's just like the game we played. Oh, yeah, you sure have been busy. Yeah, it looks like fun, right? Oh, kiddo, yeah. Just like the old times, right? Kiddo, I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I've really got to focus on this project. Still? But I did all this stuff. Why'd you agree to come if you weren't going to spend time with me? Remember our promise? Playtime means no grown-up stuff, right? Kiddo, I... Maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have your fun without me. Oh. Well, so much for a legendary quest. Aw, sorry, Cheese. 
I guess it wasn't meant to be. What? <laughs> no way! Didn't you see that spark in her eye? All I saw was the bags underneath them, Avery. That's so vicious. I'm telling you, we almost had her. Oh, I have a tear coming from my eye. Maybe I don't. Oh, I'm just dripping. Yeah, I'm dripping water. Okay. We just didn't wow her enough. We need to go bigger and better. We need to go... There. The big island? Imagine all this, but over there. A bigger forest, a longer river, a taller mountain, an irresistible adventure in every direction she looks. There's no way she'll be able to say no. What do you say? I say, Cheese, you need to have a conversation with your sister. <laughs> I don't know, dude. The entire big island? That's not what we signed up for. Honestly, I'm exhausted just from working on this one. Oh. Hey, Jill, aren't you supposed to meet up with your school group soon? Oh my gosh, you're right. What time is it? Oh, I hope they didn't start without me. Sorry, Scales. I'll see you later. I gotta get going, too. Some guys are expecting me at the splash pad. Good effort, team. You gonna be okay? Um, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, buddy. Maybe we can win her over next fall. Or maybe not. Bye! Avery! These cartwheels into the water? Where are you going? <sighs> now what? Aww. Ugh, who's texting me? What's good, cheese? You coming or what? Tom? Coming where? We were waiting for you at the island, and you didn't show. I think that's what that says. Give me one second. Show transition and hide transition. Apparently, I never did this. This is my very first gaming scene I made, so whoops. Okay. I didn't do the hide transition right. There we go. <laughs> All right. You didn't show. What? No way. I'm on the island right now by the playground. Wave at me. I don't see you. Tom, that's the big island. We said to meet on the little one. Oh, my bee, my bee. Let me, oh, I was out here like, where are those guys? <laughs> cool news, though. I texted like everyone and a bunch of peeps came and came out to help build stuff. Really? That's incredible. Yeah, but y'all weren't here, so they wandered off all over the place, lol. <laughs> oh. I think they are still doing the game, though, just in their own space, I guess? Oh! Yeah, don't worry, you got big charisma. You can round them up again, no prob. <laughs> I'll send anybody you meet on the little island an invite, too. Great, thank you! This is amazing! We could really make an island-wide game happen. It's practically begging to happen, TBH. But listen, come meet me at the playground first thing, because I got big ideas for decor. I'm next to the blinky radio tower on the big island, not little one. LOL, LOL. <laughs> oh, that's Tom. Tom's a llama or an alpaca? What's the difference? Cool, cool. I'll be there soon. Okay, okay. Eyes down the prize, cheese. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, and Jill and convince them to get back on board and compose a dramatic spectacle the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. Easy. This will be a walk in the park. Oh, and I shouldn't keep Tom waiting at the playground. Time to head for the radio tower. Hey, big sis. Better grab a laundry basket because I'm about to knock your socks off. <laughs> what a pun. Alright, so now we're collecting friends along with scraps of cardboard. And... I can break this pot now. Hmm. Ah, radio tower. This is where we are supposed to go. As I predator swim over there. <laughs> and then predator walk. The speed. Good day, traveler. Oh, hello. This is Esther. Traveler, hello! I heard there's a gator on a quest and I'm here to help. That's great! Uh, hail and well met to you, friend! You look lost. Have you not journeyed to our land before? I'm gonna take a drink of water. 
I could give some directions if you'd like. Mm, I'll take directions. Stay the path through this ravine and you'll arrive at the playground. It's by the radio tower right at the center of the whole island. If you keep going straight through, you'll reach the treacherous creek lands. If you head across the lake, you'll find yourself scaling the chilly mountains. If you pass the old swing set, you're headed for a dense and spooky forest. You'll find all of the park amenities nearby something really tall. If you get lost, try heading for the tallest spot you can find nearby. That's all really helpful, thanks. I wonder how many friends I need to collect. Immediately going the opposite direction from what she told me to do. If I see enemies, I must fight them. Oh, new guys. This is very um, catchy music. How do I... I was right there and she didn't see me. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, I know I need to go to the playground, but I like want to explore. I'm having a hard time staying on task. I forgot to show my grilled cheese again after that text message, too. There we go. Is that Esther walking away? Yeah, that's Esther. Okay, wait. I missed this. You're crazy! Why would they build it leaning? <laughs> How about they? None of you can survive. I am the chosen hero. Oh, this guy looks like he's seen some stuff. Hi, do you want to come play a game at the playground? Is that still on? Sure, I'll come play in a minute. I want to skip rocks for a bit longer. Can I try? Sorry, if you can hear what's happening outside, they are painting my building. Sure, there's all sorts of good rocks around. Help yourself. I found a rock. If I throw it right, I can skip it over the water. Hi, hey, sweet pea. I'm okay. I can get one or two skips, but I really want to see one skip three times. Oh, okay. Oh, great job! Do I get a reward? Dang, you must have found a really good rock. Or maybe I'm just bad at this. Anyway, I'll come play with you at the playground now. See you there. I now have a ranged weapon. They'll never see it coming. First try? You saw that? Okay. Do we think there's a bad guy up on top of that little... There was not a bad guy up there. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're close to the playground, though. Let me kick at my little feet. Oh, no! Okay. way to the playground, recently refurbished and ready to entertain. Noticed adult supervision required at all times.
Hey, this is the guy I met earlier, right? Zhu? Yeah. This whole adventure game thing is cool, but I didn't mind skipping rocks for a while either. Beats doing nothing. <coughs> Did you see me lift my arms to go down that side? That was incredible. Tom, my man. Hey, cheese! Look who finally showed up! You were the one who was late in the first place! Alright! <laughs> Whoops! At least we're both here now. Do you want to start decking this place out? Sure! You mentioned some decorating ideas. What did you have in mind? Totally, totally! So check this out. We're doing the fantasy adventure angle, yeah? Take a look around for a sec. Does this place not scream beautiful fantasy adventure town waiting to happen? Uh, sure. Probably? I guess I could see that. It's not enough to just see it, my friend. You gotta feel it. Allow me to get you acquainted with the Command Center. So many sticky notes. Where did you get this? Some angry dude gave it to me for a few empty two liters in an old magazine. <laughs> Whoa, awesome! I know! We can use it to sketch out our ideas. Give it a try. What should we turn that thing into? What? That little awning? I don't know. I'm not good at coming up with these types of ideas. Aw, oh, come on. Give it a go. I bet it'll turn out better than you expect. Yeah, all right. So, should I try to make my idea? Yeah. Uh, ta-da! It's... it's, um... Ah, uh, how do I, uh... Jeez, you know I never lie to you, right? I told you, I stink at this sort of thing. I have truly been made the fool. Oh, you know who'd be great at it, though? Yep, Jill and Martin have great ideas. Avery probably has like a hundred. True. Good thing I just so happen to know where they all are. Martin is with his crew at the splash pad, right at the bottom of the windmill. Avery's at the amphitheater way up the mountain. I heard rumors they have a restaurant up there? Jill is cramming with her study buddies in the woods. Check the pavilion under the big tree. If any of them are game, tell them they have carte blanche to set up their own command center wherever. That is, with one exception. This building here is all mine. You got plans for it? Oh yeah. Big plans, little dude. You just send some eager beavers my way and it's about to go down on this playground, do you feel me? It's about to go down when we make it a town. Where no one will frown, and we wear the crown, and also a gown? Um, anyway, see you around. Bars. <laughs> Courage be with you, my most radical pal. Go forth and collect the hearts of the world. Oh, and tell your sis I said hi. So I did a bad job of this. <laughs> Can we fix it? Hey, cheese! You ready to get down to business in this extreme playground makeover? I think so. Let's see your big amazing plan. You bet, my heroic helper. Feast your eyes on this. Ah, I can't wait to show you. We have some friends to help out, right? It's gonna be so rad. So rad. Let's pull the trigger. I have six friends. I need five to build this. We can do it. Kabang! Whoa, that's a lot better than I did. It's, it's, cheese, it's, oh great. Great? Great doesn't even begin to describe it. It's magnanimous. It's unassailable. It's awesome. Oh, great. Never before, my friend, has an epic king had a worthier domain. Let's call it a wrap. Very nice, very nice. So we just turn this into a little kingdom here. I wonder if there's like any hidden treasure. Oops, oops, I'm falling down. Hello? Hello? Ha! <laughs> okay. I'm stuck! Here we go. Can I not grab... Oh, here's my climbing friend. Greetings, my pupil of highs and lows. 
You've done well to reach this height, but there are greater heights still. Remember, there is no peak too high to climb or consequences for falling off. No consequences at all. I can't think of a single one. How do I do that again? Like this. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna try this. Oh, it didn't work. Because I hit it twice. There we go. I'll try one more time. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I'm not strong enough to climb the ladder and I have to, like, take breaks. Truly regrettable in the stamina department. Okay, there we go. And we run up this ramp. And we're up here. Why are ads happening so frequently? Is a question I will have to answer later. Here we go! Excellent. Perfect landing. Immediately. I see enemies. Where do we think the splash pad is? Oh no! Oh gosh! Monsters! Help! Someone! I'm helpless in being attacked! Oh wow! You did it! Oh, thank goodness! They were everywhere! I heard someone needed monsters, so I made some. I built and built and built all over the place. But then I actually looked at one! I had no idea how scary they were. Thank you for saving me from my own creations. Wow. This way to the splash pad. Jump on and cool off with our water jets and seating area. Notice the splash pad no longer operates from September through May. Hmm. Hello? Oh, Martin has some cool friends. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Every day of the week, my dude. Squark. Um, right back at ya? You know this kid, Martin? Yeah, don't worry, Lucas. We're tight. So tight. That's why we need you at the playground, Martin. The game is back on. Can't. Me and the crew are busy looking cool. Busy, but... You're just standing there. Standing here doing nothing is why kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. What? Come on, that doesn't actually work. Are you sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Boom. It's a full-time job. Gotta respect the hustle. The splash pad isn't even turned on this time of year. Uh, yeah, that's how we like it. Playing in the water is for little kids, right guys? Uh, yeah, getting wet and everything? So cringe. Squonk! That's what I'm saying. What? No, it's fun! Don't you guys like fun? Eh, easier to keep it cool without jets of water everywhere, ironically. <laughs> so you're too cool to have fun, and the water being on would make you lose your cool? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'm off to do nothing, haha, <laughs> bye! Hey Martin, your friend is kind of weird. Yup, that's my weirdo. <laughs> this must be the water main. I'll just turn it a little bit and they'll be having fun in no time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just a little turn. <clears throat> Dang, this thing is rusty. Okay, just one big tug to get it open. One, two, three... Whoa, that's so sick! 
I mean, get. Yeah. This is the worst. Squark. Eh. Um, this water is cool, actually. Let's forget that other stuff and, like, have fun. Huh? Who said that? <laughs> Let's all listen to them. Jeez, come on, dude. I'm over to turn that. I'm coming over to turn that thing off. No, not until you admit you're having fun. Fine, if you won't let up, we'll cut you off at the source. Quick, guys, go turn off the other pumps. I'll keep an eye on Cheese. You've got it, Martin. Other pumps? There are three other tanks that pump water into this one. If they all get cut off... <gasps> what gives, Martin? You love water parks! We went to Ocean World together last summer. Yeah, I know. I'd love to leave the water on. What? Why didn't you say that when they were here? You know, because it's not cool. And these guys are. You can't just say stuff. I just say stuff all the time. I'll show them how cool having fun is. Alright, Hotshot. How about a deal? If you convince all the others to turn their pumps back on, I'll walk away and you can do whatever you want. Deal. I know they'll agree eventually. The fun speaks for itself. That's a lot of confidence considering you just drenched them all. But good luck. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect! Together, Martin's pals are invincible, but alone, I'm sure I can find a way to break their cool. This is a great plan. Quest start! So we have to activate all the pumps. Junk for trash. Didn't I see a trash can? Yeah, one right here. Apparently, I can't break it. Traveler, I seem to have misplaced an important item. It's sort of spiky and transparent and weird looking. I just take it a breather, or as you say, a swim, when I noticed its absence. Please find it for me, it's very important. It's spiky and transparent, and I last saw it when I was getting a breath of water. What if it got washed away? What if it's gone forever? Oh no, oh no! Guys, I think Becca has anxiety. They don't stand a chance. I guess I could make that one hat now that I have a thousand. Also, um, my voice is breaking a little bit. <laughs> pretty, I'm pretty hoarse. I'm so tired of, like, being sick. Junk for trash. This way? Okay, there's Jada. Should I try to sneak over and turn it on? Where? Because she's not guarding it. Is it here? You know you shouldn't do that. Who? What? Me? Nothing! I'm not doing anything! I was just coming over to say hi, haha! Huh? Mint, hello! Haven't been able to watch today because it's early and I'll do the clock's going back. If you're still streaming, I don't have time to catch you in around half an hour or so. Have a good stream. If not, I don't know if I'll still be streaming in half an hour. Um, are we, did our clocks also go back today? I don't know if they go back, usually our clocks don't go back until November over here. So, um, if you can pop in, great. If you can't, that's also fine, but good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. What you got there? A tree sprouted underwater, made it all the way to the surface. That's a tree? Yep, a magnolia, I think. Ours did, so for the next couple of weeks, we're closer in time than normal. Oh! Cool, but also less cool for you, because that means that it's farther away from your bedtime than it would be. Right? Because <laughs> I started two hours early today, compared to what I normally do, so it's like three hours early for you. A magnolia, I think, but she's drooping now. If I stop propping her up, she'll drown. Oh no, do you, uh, need any help? Could use a twig and some grass clippings. Oh, sure. I'll grab you some. 
Okay, I'll save this little tree, then turn on the pump. Easy peasy. Cut some grass. Okay. Yeah, so normally I wash from midnight to around 2 a.m., which is perfect for me, but now it's only 10.30. Yeah. Totally understandable. And I normally don't stream this early. It's just a Sunday for me, so I want to have, like, the evening to wind down before work tomorrow. Um, but usually I don't stream until around 6 on work nights anyway, so... This should be enough grass for whatever Jada is up to. Okay. Well, I have to kill some monsters now. Mint, this game is based off of Zelda, but, but we're just a little kid pretending to be Link. Like, attacking card cardboard monsters and stuff. It's very childish, but I find it very cute. Here you go! What are they for? Watch. Awesome! Now it'll be okay, right? Maybe. What? No, maybe. Why only maybe? This puddle's stagnant. Water's shallow and stationary, so it gets thirsty. I'll go get some fresh water. Lost connection for a second. I only heard it's based on Zelda. It's, yeah, it's based on Zelda. We're just a little alligator pretending to be a Link. You see our hat? <laughs> we have a pot and a sword. <laughs> We're trying to get our older sister to play with us. Oh, okay. I'll stay here and make sure no one tramples her. Here, take this. I got a bucket. This will hold a ton of water. Anywhere deep enough to swim should be fine. Okay, so... I need to fill the bucket with water. This should be deep enough to swim. Haha, <laughs> I see. Yeah, so these are like Stalfos. And I'm totally killing it. I wanted to play, um... I know I promised you a Skyward Sword stream. <laughs> I promise I will play Skyward Sword when I am feeling well enough. Brain has not been well enough today to, to play Skyward Sword. Have to go again, maybe see you later. Yeah, have a good evening. Totally get it. I'm glad you get it. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, I need bucket. How do I get my bucket? Wait, when did I get the art palette? I'm making that. And I guess I can make the slime hat too. I don't want to wear the slime hat though, so. What does the, what does it look like if I, ooh, that's pretty cool. How do I stop? Okay, there we go. It's not as fast as my bucket lid though. So hang on, or my pot lid. Do I just swim? There we go, yeah. Hopefully this is enough water for the little tree. Okay, so now we can take it back to Jada. I got some fresh water. Great, pour it on nice and gentle. Wow, it looks so much healthier. <laughs> Look at my head. Mm-hmm, just needed a little support. Almost good to leave on our own. What do we do next? I don't know. Huh. What do you mean? Is it gonna be okay? What does it need? Sunlight. Magnolias need a lot of it, but this one sprouted in the shade. Her roots are tangled in the rocks. Won't survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But, but, there has to be something. Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. We're gonna break the sign. It doesn't stand a chance. This dumb sign is blocking out the sun. I have to break it. It's an emergency. For the trees! <laughs> wow, that sprouted very quickly. Let me stand over here so you can see it. 
I didn't even think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, Cheese. Wanted destruction hasn't failed me yet. Ha! <laughs> I'm sure Magnolia appreciates it. In fact, I bet she'd like you to have this. Whoa, a whole leaf? Is she sure? Sure. Pruning is normal for a strong plant like her. You know how I said magnolias need sunlight? Mm-hmm. They usually need well-drained soil, too. Not too soggy. This one landed here. Under three inches of water beside a shady cliff surrounded by rocks and weeds. And she sprouted anyway. Whoa. Hardcore. Yeah. She's gonna be fine. Hey, cheese. You know how plants need water to grow? Uh, duh? I'm thinking maybe our little gang does, too. See ya. Okay, Jada is the coolest person I know. <laughs> huh? What does that mean? Oh, the pump. I totally forgot. Let's get this thing turned on. Hi, Magnolia. Okay, we got Jada's pump taken care of. We're also looking for a shark retainer. Bye, Magnolia. Look at my little leaf. And my bucket hat. Okay, so she dropped her retainer. We probably need to follow the water to find it. Man, why did I get the worst pump? Hello. Whoa, Squawk? Hi, you. I don't think anyone mentioned your name before. What is it? Squawk. Oh, you're still doing the honking thing? Could you maybe just talk to me, please? I heard you saying full sentences just a minute ago. Squ Squawk. Yes, you did. You said entire normal words. Squark! Yes! Squonk! Yes, you did! Squark! Honk again if I can turn the pump back on. Squawk! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Now if you'll excuse me... Squawk! <laughs> Oof! Hey! Knock it off! Everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way up from the splash pad. I just want to talk, but your friend won't stop honking at me. I'm pretty sure they only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Squonk! Well, that's no reason to push somebody. Alright, cheese. Let's all try to calm down. What are you gonna do? Sue them? You know what? Yeah! I am! What? What? Court is now in session. Dude, I was kidding. You! Whatever your name is, you stand accused of obstruction of fun and being very rude. How do you plead? Squark. Very well, then. I call Martin to the stand. This game has a lot of talking. Here. I'm going to ask you some simple questions and then decide if you're telling the truth. Wait, so are you the lawyer or the judge? I'll ask the questions here, thank you. Martin, is it true that you un un unna your unnamed friend has never spoken a word? That's the truth. As long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. I think that he's telling the truth. Hmm, Martin has never lied to me before. But I heard that guy talk. I'm sure of it. I have to think harder. There must be a contradiction. Like I said, as long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. I don't believe you. I'm sure I heard that goose gab. Sorry, Cheese. That's not gonna fly. If you want to make this into a case, you got to present hard evidence to prove me wrong. Dang, he's right. I have to call him out with everything I've got. Like I said, as long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. Interesting statement, Martin. I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how did you know their name? <laughs> Martin? Duke? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, Lucas and Jada told me, obviously. They've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, how did they know? 
<gasps> yeah, well, you see, it must have been like, what really happened was, um, enough! The jig is up, Martin. You can quit covering for me. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket. Aha! I knew it! Straight from the goose's mouth! It's for the best. Now that my secret is revealed, I can legal battle cheese head on! <sighs> yeah, I may be talking, but you can't make me sing! This case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Duke. If that is your real name. And I hope it is, because this will be a lot more confusing if it isn't. <laughs> So, uh, is it cool if I go now? Oh, sure you can go. Yeah, thanks for checking on us. Cool. Later. Good luck with this. <laughs> Alright, Defendant Duke. Let's get right to the question on everyone's mind. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get at the pump. I didn't want you to. Duh. You could have told me that. Yeah? Well, it ain't always that easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you? <laughs> I have a reason to believe other boys. Is that so? Fine. I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop de doop de doo Oh, Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. You're just being sarcastic. Oh, am I really? Squark. Ugh, they're too sarcastic for me to be wishy-washy. I have to take a stronger stance. Since you can't keep up, I'll run it by you one more time. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop de doop de doo They must care, otherwise why did they push me? And since they lied about lying, the two lies combine into an even stronger double lie. And that means that, uh, the double lie cancels out the first lie, and, um... Hey, could you say that last part again? I got confused. I'll say it as many times if I as I have to. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop de doop de doo You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? Squ-squat? No, I was being sarcastic. Don't you know how to reverse that psychology? Not even a little. But my expert detective skills tell me that there's another reason you pushed me. So, if you don't care about the water, why did you push me? But I do care! I... Squark? It's no use. Ain't getting nothing past you, cheese. I pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the game. Can't go spilling milk just to get my beak wet. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Hmm, according to my expert detective skills, they really believe they're telling the truth. But that can't be true. I say stupid stuff all the time and Martin still talks to me! <coughs> In fact, I can't think of any good friend that would do that. Something's fishy here. You really believe they would just drop you from the group? Of course I do. If I disappoint kids schools them, they'll never want to talk to me again. I can't believe it, but that doesn't mean it's a lie. Something about this is super personal to Duke. I need to be careful what I say so I don't hurt their feelings even more. I know Martin pretty well. Are you sure he'd let that happen? Maybe not to you, but I'm another story. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Sorry, Duke. There's something about your story that just doesn't add up. If the cool kids would stop being your friend because you talk about your feelings, then they wouldn't be very cool at all. <gasps> are you crazy? Lucas, Jada, and Martin are cooler than anyone on the island. If that's true, then they'd never do something so uncool. You can talk to them. No, Cheese, you're wrong. It just wouldn't work out. I know, because I've already lost another group of friends that way. Oh, what happened? One day, everything was daisies. The next, my pal, my best pal, told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. Maybe I was annoying? Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyway, I left him alone. I figured if I don't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed up everything last time. This is sad, you guys. Wow, Duke. That guy sounds like a huge jerk. <gasps> you don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends miss you a lot. It hurt to hear, but what if everyone really is just pretending? I don't know. If your new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in a court of law? 
I guess Martin did do a federal crime for me, huh? He risked a life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. Therefore, my final verdict is that your friends like you and you should talk to them. Also, I sentence that big liar to the shadow dimension forever. Squaw! I'll, I'll try. Thanks, Cheese. Sorry for getting so riled up at you before. That was really lame. It's okay. I'm happy we talked about it. But if you're wondering how to make it up to me, there's this water pump I'd like to switch on. Listen, I'm just going to walk back to the splash pad and whatever happens, happens. I hope I see you there again. Phew, that was exhausting. But now I can finally sentence this pump to be open. Court adjourned. This kid has more energy than I do. Oh, I have a detective hat now, too. Whatever this is, you gotta get to the bottom of it. I really love my bucket hat, though. Why am I always dripping water? And why do I only have one leg right now? Oh, probably because of how I'm standing. Yes, I have clipped out because of the rock. Okay. We are wearing the bucket. Okay, I think this is a good stopping point for me for today. I'm starting to lose my voice. I thought I was getting over this um, illness quicker than I am. Um, sorry, what's happening down here? I'm gonna have to save and quit. <laughs> because if I get into another quest, it's gonna be another 30 minutes and I'm really gonna lose my voice. Trunks, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for resubbing. That's so kind of you. I was just going to stop streaming, but now I feel like I should say hello. Hello! Then I guess I should do that before you leave, lol. I can stay for a little bit longer. I usually stream for two hours, and it's only been an hour and a half. So I can do a little bit more. Um, I didn't know if anybody would be interested in this game anyway, so I was kind of doing it at a random time of day. <laughs> Trunks, have you played this game before? Now you take care of yourself if you need to go. I do kind of need to go, yeah. But you should um, look into this game. It's very sweet. Um, I'm a little gator, but I'm actually Link. I'm pretending to be Link. I'm trying to get my sister to play with me. Um, so this is that game that I was talking about in your stream. This is a choo-choo. And I have defeated it. So I have earned new items throughout my journey, but my original outfit... Yeah, this is the one I talked about the other day. So my original outfit... Um, I think I just sat down and that's adorable. I have this hat and this shield and I ran around like this, but I have done quests and so I have new hats like, um, this one, the perfect disguise for slime conventions. Don't I look exactly like a choo-choo wearing this? <laughs> or I just solved a case. So now I'm a detective. Alright, I gotta fix my, um, chatbot, too. Just like the eco-warriors of old. My bucket helm. That's my favorite one so far. Choo-choo or a Wobbuffet. True. So, um, I can jump and I can- Oh, I need to show you my, uh, my glider. They told me that, um, you get this in some games, but not in every version. Whoa, wow, amazing. Did I just make a friend? You destroyed them all! I can't believe it! You climbed up the whole thing! I was so scared! It's so high! And the way you smashed them up? Wow! Just wow! Um, um... Well, Hotshot, I'm impressed. You've impressed me. Hehe, <laughs> really? Here's your prize for being a Hotshot, Hotshot! Thank you. Okay, Virage is our friend now. Alright, my glider. Are you ready to see my amazing glider? That my friend Avery the Frog gave me? Look at that. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's incredible. I can go ahead and finish up this quest really quick, though. Also, Trunks, if you're just lurking, feel free to lurk. We don't want you to feel obligated to, like, chat. Whoa! Lucas. Hello, Lucas. Hi. 
I just got home a few minutes ago. Where were you? Did you have fun? Don't mind me. Just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. <coughs> Excuse me. A casual stroll to a remote island? Okay, Lucas. You don't have to call me out like that. <coughs> oh, you're right. This is really out of the way. Haha. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Anyway, wouldn't it be great if you let me turn that pump back on? Nope. I'm not into it. My friends aren't into it. It's not happening. They are, though. Everyone's totally into it. Because, um... Dang, are they? Martin said he'd love it, but the others didn't say one way or the other. Did... Did Martin really say that? Oh, yeah. Totally. Golfing, lol. And yeah, I had fun. It was the last day at my home course to be open for the season. Now I have to wait until the spring to play again. Oh, no. Is, like, indoor mini golf something you could do? I can't ever tell what he's thinking. Was he joking when he said to turn the pumps off? Is he gonna think I'm a jerk for actually doing it? Whoa, whoa, slow down for a second. What's going on? I just can't stop acting weird around Martin. Lucas, do you have a crush? When I try to talk, I can feel all the words drumbling around my head. It's like how people act in movies and stuff, but those are just movies, right? No one really acts like that. Yeah, I think so. I've never felt like that either. I think that Lucas has a crush on Martin. But talking to Martin is easy. He always says what he's thinking. I'm opening this bag of Welch's berries and cherries fruit snacks really quick because I want some. Okay, sorry for the crinkling noises. Ugh, I know, he's so confident. How do you keep your cool so easily? Do you think maybe... Could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to him? Mini golf? I mean, yeah, but that's not the same. There's virtual golf in town, but I don't know what they charge. I have a controller-based game on Steam and the PS5, so... Nice. Yeah, I know mini golf isn't the same. <laughs> hmm, advice, you say? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, perhaps I could be persuaded to offer the advice you seek. Hmm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can help me out, the pump is all yours. Uh huh. Excellent. Right, right here. I have the perfect plan. This feels. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's Martin. If you didn't catch Martin earlier. Awkward? I was gonna say invasive. <laughs> it's fine. A movie problem needs a movie solution. You be Martin and I'll be you and say all the things you're supposed to say. Okay, uh... Wow, it sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on this island, minding my own business. Let's see, what's a good opener? Do we notice how Martin has the sparkles? Like he's perhaps attractive? Your mane is radiant. Wanna see a cool scab? Or let's watch Power Fighters on DVD! The characters remind me of Animal Crossing. They do remind me of that a little bit, too. Yeah. What do we think? Should we tell Martin his reign is radiant? His mane is radiant. Want to see a cool scab? Or let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. I feel like the opener needs to be your mane is radiant. I'm tempted to say I want to see a cool scab, though. <laughs> I think his reign is Mediant too. Yeah, let's go with that. Your your reign is Mediant. Gosh, Martin, your mane is shining in the sun. It's so radiant. What? Does it have to be something so personal? Everybody likes a compliment. Now you say something nice back. Ugh. Um. I would like to argue that not everybody loves compliments. It depends on the time and place. Sometimes, for example, me, compliments make me feel... Like, I don't know. <laughs> they make me feel uncomfortable. That's probably a me problem, though, that I need to figure out. Thanks, dude. You also look cool, too, as well. Thanks, bro. I've been using soap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And speaking of that, I'm a down-to-earth country boy. 
Do the plant do plants make the sun mad? Or let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. If we've been using soap, what do we say next? I feel like we go for a joke. This seems like a joke. Do plants make the sun mad? Do you think the sun gets upset that plants eat sunlight? I'd be mad if something ate me. Are you asking me or Martin? Martin! We have debates like this all the time. Oh, well, I guess they don't actually eat the sun itself, just the light. Like those harmless little bugs that eat dander. Oh, whoa, so you're saying we're like basking in the sun's dead skin right now? Oh my god. Can we please talk about something else? All right, if you want to skip ahead, I'd say something like... <laughs> Which one do you think we should pick? <laughs> it's been the bottom option every time, so I feel like it needs to be the bottom one. Martin. There's nothing that I want to do with you more in the entire world right now than to watch Power Fighters on DVD. I'm begging to think you aren't taking this seriously. Or, I'm beginning to think you aren't taking this seriously. Coming up with stuff to say is hard. Work with me here. Hey guys, working on something? Uh-oh. Look how radiant the real Martin is. God, Martin! Haha, <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island? Um, yeah, well, uh... Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? Huh, <laughs> you think so? Yeah, it's a portrait for you. Too cool. You really captured my essence. Thanks, ma'am. Go, go, go! Say the thing! Um... Something you wanted to say? There was, but, um, I totally forgot. You know how it is. Funny you should say that. I was thinking we could hang out later, just the two of us. Oh my god, Martin's asking Lucas on a date. Maybe that'll help you remember. Martin's got game. <laughs> Why wait? I'm game right now. Okay, Lucas can handle it if Martin makes the first move. Cool. Let's roll. Cool. Later, cheese. The two cool boys are going on a date. Wait. Did they resolve their problem without me? That can't be right. No, no, they resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Quest complete. Now to get this pump started. This game is insane. Okay, that's all the pumps done. Time to head back to the splash pad. But first, we must assassinate. She never misses. First try every time. It's incredible. You saw it. I know you did. So the goal of this game is for me to make new friends, um, to build something really impressive so that my sister will want to play a game with me. What kind of monster do we think these are? Are these supposed to be clams? I can't tell. Yes, they're supposed to be clams. Water's real nice, eh? Crisp all day like this, it makes you just want to jump right in. Pity. Can't swim. Oh no! I can swim really good! I could teach you! It's really easy, see? First you submerge so just your snout is above water, and then... Okay, okay, okay. No, it's... It's more like I won't swim. Guess my fur all floofed up. You ever heard of a floofy bowl? Um, well actually... Nah. No, really! I've... No such thing. Just search on your phone! <laughs> Just doesn't work. Fluffy bowls, non-existent. Oh well. 
Guess I'll never impress that sheep over there. They've been giving me weird looks all day. We'll never be friends at this rate. You could just talk to them? Absolutely not. I have to impress them first with a huge cannonball. But then I'll get all floofed. And then they... Okay, fine. Hold on. <laughs> I guess I gotta go talk to the sheep. Hey, stop staring and just ask to hang out. Marlo. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? He gonna jump in or what? Oh, he's a little, uh... He doesn't want to get all floofy. He thinks floofy bulls don't exist. What? Floofy bulls are definitely a thing. Yeah, I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen at all. Floofy bulls are great. He's crazy. In my book, the floofier the better. Let's go tell him. The way I walk. Top of the food chain. Nobody walks better. You see this? <laughs> Can't swim. I get floofy. Look, dude, for one, floofy bulls are a thing. Nope. For two, that sheep, they're totally into floofy bulls. What? Really? Yep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's so floofy. <laughs> now I'm floofy as can be. No one can take their eyes off me. Love the water. Okay, I just made two friends. You! Halt! Wait! Come back! You! You! Hey, have you met the cool kids? Oh yeah, I've met them. Whoa! And you even talked to them? Well, yeah. It wasn't that hard. Wow! Amazing! Please, I need your help. I want to be their friend, but I'm scared I'll make a bad first impression. So which of these poses do you think they'll like more? Pose one. All right. Pose two. Ooh. You see that? That's a good one. Or pose three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so which one? Can I see them again? <laughs> I remember exactly what they look like. I just want them to do it again. Here's one. There's two. And there's three. I think definite well, one more time. No, I'm gonna make fun of him if I do that. Okay, he's not sad. Okay, good. Yes, yes, you're right. You're so right. With this pose, I'm unstoppable. I'll be best friends with the cool kids for sure. Thank you so much, Traveler. You're welcome, Joe. Also, if you see a shark retainer, let me know, because I'm looking for one. Ah. It's a big stone talus. I think I have to go back to the splash pad. I just don't remember where it is. I think I'm traveling very far away from it, actually. Where do we think that ramp goes? To monsters. They think they can hide. They cannot. She never misses. Oh! 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 See if I can get this one. Oh! Oh! I think it's being nice. <laughs> That one I actually hit, which is incredible. Last one. Nice!
Wait. How about the back beast? So they also have shield surfing in this game, which I haven't shown you yet. And I can shield surf down from the splash pad. So I should go back there. Don't worry, I'll save you from the monsters. I saved you from the monsters. You broke them all! Yep, I saved you from the scary monsters, right? No, I put hard work into those, and you just ran in here and destroyed them. Uh oh, oops. <laughs> you picked up all their materials, right? Give them back and we'll call it even. How much was there? Uh, 30? Probably 80? Maybe 150. I have no idea. Huh, okay. Thought there was more, but sure. Uh, I'll see you around. Well, I guess I lucked out there. Used for making art and destroying it. Have I made everything else? I have, so I can make this. Oh, and it changes colors. Ooh. Chess, huh? Are you playing chess by yourself? Ah, Traveler, I see you are not familiar with the musings of a master strategist. I'm hard at work developing new tactics to best my opponents. Oh, okay. How's it going? To be honest, I'm not having much luck. Chess is an ancient widespread game. It's hard to come up with a brand new strategy. Maybe I could help? As a master strategist, I doubt you could do anything that would surprise me. But if you'd like to try, go ahead and make your move. He's never gonna see it coming. Are you ready? So reckless! So brutal! I never saw it coming and now my king is in the mud! It's genius! Exactly the surprising new approach I was looking for. How did you concoct such a bold strategy? Just part of being a legendary hero, I guess. It's definitely something Link would do. I had no idea I was playing with a hero. Please accept this in exchange for your wisdom. Thank you, Tony. Nope. Yes, Tony. Okay. What was the other guy's name? Tom? The llama? Okay, I'm lost. I need to get back to the splash pad. But we're actually close to the playground. I'll come back for those later. Okay, so the splash pad... I was at the playground, and I went... Which way? I think- Oh, there's the fluffy bowl! <gasps> He's hanging out with the sheep. Amazing. Hmm... So I went... I don't know which way. Here we go. Excellent. 10 out of 10 landing. Are we just gonna keep rolling? We are. Okay. I'm gonna get... Hmm... Because I went up to... a tower and I jumped and I ran slow down or you might lose a heart 
So the, the premise of this game is that when he was little, he and his older sister were waiting for the new Zelda game to come out and like they were bored out of their minds and so they made up Zelda by like playing outside. And so I'm trying to get her to do that again. She's on her fall break from college right now. Clearly I am not in college. Is the splash pad up here, maybe? Yes. I have returned victorious. Hmm, things seem kind of tense over here. I better go turn the main pump back on quick. Finally, I have defeated everyone's cool. Now they'll have fun for sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's stuck again. Is it coming? So I guess you guys all wanted the water on after all? It's whatever. We were being kind of dry. Wouldn't hurt to get wet. Same. I'm down for a splash sometimes, but it's cool hanging out with you guys wherever. I can vibe with that. I just didn't want you guys to think I was lame. No chance, dude. Feels good to talk it out. Anything you want to add, Duke? Haha, <laughs> yeah! Hit us with a feel-good honk, Duke of Cool. Actually, I got an idea I think you fellas might like. Whoa! The Duke speaks! It's an honor. What's the plan? I figure since this is our turf and kids are out here making towns, why don't we make this place a town of our own? Whoa, yeah! We could all be the mayors of Coolsville! I see some great spots for a few houses. Maybe a lounge. <coughs> All the kids who want to hang with us will finally have an excuse to stick around. Great idea, dude! Ha! <laughs> you think? Aw, oh, Squark, you guys are just too good to me. There's one more thing any town needs. I bet we'll see it any second now. Wah! There it is, the main attraction! Huh. This isn't how I imagined everyone playing in the water. I'm surprised you were able to convince anyone to turn it on at all. But you did, and talking to everyone was nice. Not to mention Coolsville is looking dope. Yeah, so uh, ready to bring some Coolsville back to the playground town? You know it, dude. Keep the place warm for us. Quest complete. Ooh, and now I can build a new part of the town. But where do I go to do that? Everything in this game is so hard for me to find. Did I come from this way? You seem... No, I've talked to you. Okay. Junk for trash. I'm supposed to be looking for the radio tower because that's where the playground is. Hey, hey, look! Junk for trash! I found him! You look like a kid that gets their hands dirty, am I right? Uh, I've seen you scurrying around, grabbing things off the ground. You know what I see in you? Potential. I happen to be a connoisseur of fine junk, just as these specimens you see before you. Hey, man, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. We're just, um, probably wrapping up here soon. Um, we've been playing a little gator game today, which is a game about, um, basically I... <laughs> my sister and I played a lot of games when we were young. We're both alligators. And we were hoping the new Zelda game was going to come out soon. Um, but it's not the Zelda game. They call it the Legend of Hero game. <laughs> Just got into bed. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so they played outside a lot. And now my sister is in college and she's back home for fall break. And I'm trying to convince her to play Legend of Hero with me again outside. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to want them, would you? Uh, Probably. <laughs> knew at the moment I laid my eyes on you. You're a trash fiend, just like me. But I don't hand these out to just anyone. You gotta be committed to the cause. Has she watched this? I'm not talking about my real life sister. Unless you're asking if my sister in the game has watched this. In which case, no, she hasn't watched it yet. 
But no, in uh, this game, I have a sister who I used to play games with. People have a nasty habit of leaving their trash lying around. Oh, gross. There's a trash can, like, right here. This is so confusing. It is. I'll go back to the main playground and show you what's going on. Um, it explained it all in, like, the tutorial, but that was, like, an hour, two hours ago, so. It's a pretty short game. We're probably a third of the way through. Ten pieces of litter. Don't care what you do with it. Just go get your hands dirty. Do that for me, then we can talk business. Okay. I guess I've only gotten two pieces of litter. Where the heck is the playground? This way? Here are some monsters that I can fight. Oh wait, I saw litter. That's ten. Okay. I'm picking up more. So I'm collecting all these pieces of junk from this cardboard. Well, junk is different from what I'm getting from the cardboard. I'm getting confetti from the cardboard. The reason is so that um, I can make cool stuff. When even was the last time we played Skyward Sword, it's lost in the mist of time. Could have been September 23rd, for example. Not that anyone's keeping count. Gosh, yeah, I don't know. It's been a very long time. Kid, I haven't seen the trash pick up like that since I was in diapers and my dear mother was changing them. <laughs> You have my heartfelt respect and my doors are open to you. Thanks, so can I have one of these? You may have misunderstood, compadre. My shop is open, but I still have to make a living. Aw, oh, what? I still gotta buy it? Afraid so, but I'll sweeten the deal with some exclusive insider information. No extra charge. Free! Yes, let's hear it! If you're aching for trash, take a dive in a trash can. What? You root around in trash cans? That's disgusting! It was December 23rd, someone was keeping count- uh, you know, actually, I got that <laughs> before you said that. <laughs> They're a one-stop shop for the stronger constitution, provided people have the decency to use them. If you're squeamish, just knock them over. Boom. Now it's litter, your specialty. Ugh. I don't know. Suit yourself. Not my business where you get the trash as long as you can pay. And when you are ready to pay, my wares are ready to browse. I would like to attack this trash. Thank you. So, what'll it be? Trash pick and stick, ancient gong, disassembilizer. Be proud of that purchase, kid. That's a bona fide disassembilizer in mint condition. How was my weekend? My weekend was okay. Um, I got to spend time with my family yesterday. My brother was in town from Chicago. We don't get to see him very often, so that was nice. Um, and I had a long weekend because we had parent-teacher conferences on Wednesday and Thursday this past week, so I worked two 12-hour days, whew, which is why I wasn't streaming in the evenings. Um, and then I was, like, still recovering <laughs> yesterday and today. Um, Friday and Saturday, and also today. But, yeah, I've had a good weekend. Watched a lot of Lord of the Rings and cross-stitched and stuff. How was yours? Heard that? Mint condition, as in never used. You tell that to anyone who asks about it. Whoa! What's that? Ranged hue applicator. I see. It's very expensive. <laughs> With Kimmet, I mean non toxic paints. Excellent. Oh, I want that. I'm buying all of his stuff. Good, my next door neighbor wanted a whiskey tutorial, so we had him over earlier today. Ooh. Like you you taught him how to make whiskey? I won't lie, that thing seemed better today, but still got some bounce to it. Used to use it to get over junkyard fences into dumpsters. The occasional window. Anyway, it's yours now. Hope it serves you well. <gasps> sticky hand. We'll be back for the sticky hand. Watch this. 
I'm unstoppable. Oh, how to drink, I see. Introduced him to different styles. Incredible. I'm doing very important things on my stream today, as you can see. <laughs> this game is insane. Okay. I don't think I want to keep the... I want to use the paintbrush. Love my bucket hat. This is Link's hat. Hi, bubbies. <clears throat> Note that I said whiskey instead of whiskey. This is a rare occasion where you Americans have added a letter instead of removing one. I did notice the difference. <gasps> I only have 29 and I want to... Yet another bold new strategy. I really want the chessboard shield. My pot lid is fastest. And I love my rocks. Oh. How do I know? There we go. Very American. Hold still. Hold still again. Oh, it doesn't stick. Okay. Everybody, hold still. Wait, I gotta pick up that junk. I'm so lost. This game is so hard. I don't know where to go. Hi, sweet pea. Whose house is this? Close dang hooligans! Hold on. I'm just gonna take this, thank you. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, Mr. Doddler. Only we had a game where we could douse for things in order to figure out where to go. Wouldn't that be helpful? Hey, Mr. Tim, you wanna come say hi? Guys, I have a surprise. I don't think you're ready for it. Oops, I hit I hit the mic. I'm so sorry. Look who got a haircut. Look who got a haircut. You can't really tell. But his hair is shorter. <laughs> it's not the best haircut. He wouldn't really let me do his face. But his hair is much shorter. <laughs> Oh, my grilled cheese was also bunked. Bonked. Otis Mint loves your haircut. Otis loves his haircut because um, he can run around easier and stuff now. Hi, bugs. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, wow. You, your breath stinks. Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's okay. We'll brush your teeth later. Okay? See you later. Yeah, do you need to go out? It has been a couple hours. I probably need to take Otis out. Wow, I look a little tired. <laughs> I need to take Otis out. I probably need to stop stream. You can't really tell, but my eyes are super red. I need to put some steroid eye drops in. So, do you brush his teeth daily? I do not, and I should, but I don't. Those are cool monsters for the game we're playing. So it was your little friends that put them up there. Doesn't matter to me who did it. I just need you to scurry up there and get rid of it all. Very well, oh ancient sage. I shall clear your roof of these evil monsters. I need to get up there. Okay. You're welcome. This is actually very exciting. I need to show you guys how this bubble gum works really quick. This is the whole reason I started playing this game. You can see a uh, mega bubble on my on my belt. So I use it with my right bumper. Here we go. <laughs> no, I think 
the longer my stamina gets, the higher I can go. <laughs> this game is insane. I love this game so much. Um, it is very childish, so if like childish vibes are not your vibes, then you might not love it. But it's a fun little like clever little game about being young and also loving Zelda. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> where is the radio tower where the playground is? I'm so lost. This island is so big and I'm just a little guy. A little guy who doesn't take fall damage. But I shield surf and that's pretty cool. Okay, we're getting closer to the playground because here's the water park. I don't know what's happening, but we're getting closer. That sign looks promising up there. We've made it back to the water park. The splash pad, sorry, it's not a water park. I want to like stand up somewhere very high. <gasps> the radio tower! I know where the playground is. It will explain everything. Here we go. Wait. There it is. Okay. Off we go. So this is the playground that I am trying to transform into like a Legend of Zelda town. Um, I have to earn friends in the woods by helping them to get them to build the town. I am trying to impress this girl, my sister, so that she will come play with me. When we were little, she played with me all the time, but now she's in college. She's home on fall break, and I am trying to convince her to play. As you can see, she is busy working on a group project, but I will convince her. I'm pretty sure that I can get this to go all the way over. Is she wearing a tie? I think she's wearing a jacket with like a purple shirt. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Oh, <gasps> we did it. So anyway, it's a very silly game. Um, watch out for my swing. My sister is not impressed. Um, but yeah, it's cute. With that being said, um, let me see if there's anybody I know that's streaming right now. I know Becca's streaming. But I might not really want to raid today. Yeah, I'm just gonna take some time off. I'm getting back into streaming slowly, but like... I'm really struggling with burnout right now, so when I first went to university, so many students there were wearing suits and ties, it was wild to me. Uh, we don't do that really in the US. <laughs> when I went to King's College London, I showed up in like sweatpants and people thought that I was a slob. And I was like, this is like what people wear to college in the US. It's okay, no pressure. <laughs> I will be playing um, when I get back to stream eventually, like streaming regularly. We don't do that here either. It was more of an Oxford thing. Mm. Um, when I do get back to streaming, streaming regularly, I will get back to Skyward Sword. I just don't know when I'm going to get back to streaming regularly. I'm kind of low-key losing my eyesight. <laughs> Apart from Skyward Sword. Yes, pressure for Skyward Sword. I am low-key losing my eyesight right now, and so I'm trying to figure out medical stuff on how to fix that. And it's all really expensive, um, and my insurance doesn't cover it, so... 
Um, that's why I've been absent from stream so much is because sometimes I can't see and other times I'm just really stressed trying to figure out how I'm going to fix it. So, um, but I'm okay. And if you want updates on how other things are going in my life, um, you can always check the discord because I post there probably a couple times a week. Even if I don't post anything else, I'll post updates on how my cross stitch is going. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Um, if y'all stick around for stream today, I really appreciate it. I know this is not my usual content. Look at him. Look at him balance. <laughs> He's incredible. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate you being patient while I try and figure out what my life is looking like for the next month or two. Um, and I will see you next time. I don't know if that's going to be tomorrow night or a different night this week, but I would like to stream again this week. So I'll probably post in the Discord when I'm going to stream next. And it might be the day of, and I'm very sorry about that, but sometimes it's just how it goes. So anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Yep, I think that's a good squat to land on. Good job. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>